What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of Call of Duty Ghosts, PS4 gameplay. I wanted to get back in it, get my feet wet and see how I did. I hope you guys enjoy the footage, but today I want to talk to you about one topic in particular. I've been doing a little bit of thinking over the last few days and I've been reminiscing on the old days. I'm 34 years old and back in the day I spent tons of time in the arcades and for those guys and gals up there who remember these days, you remember the 90's you know uh, when Street Fighter came out, big deal, when Mortal Kombat came out, huge deal I remember playing games like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X-Men, the arcade game these games, Alien vs Predator, they sucked up so much time and so much money out of the masses, Marvel vs Capcom, Marvel vs Capcom 2, these games were huge deals back in the day and arcades flourished because of them I remember when DDR came out, people were in the arcades going nuts. You know, I remember playing in, in cabinet games like uh, Jurassic Park. These immersive experiences were something that you couldn't get at home. And that's why arcades were such a successful thing back in those days. We'd go to the arcade, you'd have an experience that was great, but it was something that you could not mirror at home. You go to the arcade, you play Mortal Kombat 2. You go home on your Sega Genesis, it was a, a very downgraded experience. It was a downgraded experience on your Super Nintendo. And that's why the arcade had such an appeal. It had such a draw. We go on the weekends, we spend $20 playing our favorite game, and then we go home and think about going back the very next week. And it was a great experience. They have since then died down. I mean, I could think of many games that have come out in my mind that are kind of responsible for arcade's death. I remember when the Sega Dreamcast version, the launch game, Soul Calibur came out. It completely destroyed the arcade version. If you guys don't know, the arcade version was a very good game, but graphically, it couldn't hold a candle to the Dreamcast version. And when that came out, the paradigm started to shift. People were like, okay, I can get a better experience at home, and I can just buy this game once? I can get me a fight stick, buy this game, the arcade is, is not as powerful as the Dreamcast. Then I remember when the PlayStation 2's version of Tekken Tag came out. It completely destroyed the arcade version. People were starting to see, okay, these newer consoles, these newer generations are coming out, and these games are looking as good, if not better, at home. And so what's the reason for me to drive to the mall? What's the reason for me to take $20 out of my bank and get quarters and waste them in the mall when I can take $20 and buy this game or just save up two weeks I'll buy this game, I won't have to spend any more money. And yes, it is thunderstorming outside. Spooky! But yeah, people started to think about it in that sense. I don't have to waste any more money on the arcades. And so I've been thinking to myself, how can arcades become relevant today? How can we bring arcades back out and make them something that everybody wants to go to? And I think I got the answer. We got this new technology coming out. We got the Oculus Rift coming out. We got PlayStation's Project Morpheus coming out. This is new VR technology. These companies really want to push the envelope with new technologies. And right now, there aren't any games that people are really looking forward to. There aren't any games that people want to are in their mind imagining this immersive experience on because we none of us have had the experience yet. But if some of these companies start to make VR arcades, a little tiny booth or a little area that you can walk into and maybe the floor moves or you put on gloves or you put on an oculus or project morpheus style device on your head and you're immersed in a game an arcade game a game you can't get at home right now it will pull us out of our living rooms out of our comfort zones it'll get us out to the malls like it did back in the day and then all of a sudden what are we doing we're spending money on the arcade and an awesome experience and a new type of game that not only will bring the arcades back to life because it'll push forward this new technology it'll also give us something to look forward to when our own VR headsets come out when Project Morpheus comes out when the Oculus Rift comes out we'll have actually have something in our mind to look forward to so I think if they started to make VR arcades it would be a great thing for, for the gaming community this idea could potentially bring the arcades back from the dead you guys let me know what you think about this idea do you think that it would even work if we had arcades with VR tech inside of them. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.